Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple survey using FormWizard Pro. First we're going to create a new page to put the FormWizard on. We'll make it a root level page. And we create the page. And once the page is created it exposes a new link to add features to the page and we choose Form Wizard Pro from the list and we give it a title and we add it to the center content panel and then we view the page and then the Form Wizard exposes its own links so right now we don't have any form on here the form has not been created and no data has been submitted so there's nothing to see in the submission data we'll go ahead and click edit form to get started and we're going to make it a four page form we're going to put uh, little instructions at the beginning. And then we'll have a thank you message at the end. And we'll save. And so now it's created the four pages. They're empty. They're, we need, just need to add questions. And we're on page one. So we'll add a text box question. We'll make it required. We'll add another text box question. We'll also make that required. And we'll add a third text box question. Also required. Now questions can be uh, rearranged on the page. We can go in and out of edit mode by clicking the pencil. And we can drag and drop to arrange them on the page. So we've got questions on page one, we'll move on to page two. And this time we'll choose a checkbox type of question. We'll add it to the page. We save the question text and we go ahead and add our options. And know that you can move options around after they've been created. You can edit and delete them. Now we'll add a sliding scale question to the page. Oops. We save that. And now for this question we might want to have some additional instructions so that people know that one means it's not important and ten means it's important so this gives me a good opportunity to demo that we can put instruction text anywhere we want among our questions because we have this pseudo question type called instruction block and we add it to the page just like a question but it isn't really a question it exposes this link you can click it and you can use the uh, editor and put in HTML and images uh, and then we save it and then we click finished it dismisses our editor and reloads the, the text now we'd like that to be above our sliding scale question so we drag it up and now we'll move on to page three and we'll add a choose from a list drop down list type of question we save the question text we add our options. And we'll add a date picker question.
and we'll save that. And then we'll move on to page four and we'll add one more question, a paragraph question, so that the user can enter whatever they like and tell us whatever they want to. And we save that question. And so notice that we can also, now that we've created our form with our questions, we can export the entire form definition with all of its questions. We can import one if we've already exported it. We can use the same file to pull it in in a different form and basically replace all the questions with the ones from the definition. We can also import and export individual questions and reuse them again. So if you make a drop-down list full of state names, you don't have to type that over and over. You just export it and import it into another form. So now let's look at what this would look like for the user. Now the user would not be edited with, would not have edit permission, so he would not see these links. He would just fill out the form. And then we fill out the CAPTCHA to prove that it's not a spam script. And note that we only have to fill out the CAPTCHA once. We can go back and forth and we don't have to fill it out again. And we'll choose the, our stuff. Notice our instruction block is here that we created. And we'll choose our... color, a date, and again we can go back and we can change our mind. It remembers our previous settings. And then when we get to the final one, we submit and it gives us the thank you message. And so the next user comes along. We'll just get a couple of submissions in here. He just wants memory. And that's it. So the users come in, they can submit the form, and the data is captured. In the settings, you can also enable email notification. But now you can view the submission data. You can export it as comma separated. You can delete them. You can view them as a grid or you can view them one at a time with a pager and you can delete them from here as well individually. So that's it. In just a few short minutes we created a, a survey on our website and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for listening.